Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with another Power League game. So I have fallen a little out of the race for number one. Uh, I kind of just stopped, not like stopped going for it, but I had like one or two bad days and like, yeah. But uh, <clears throat> we're like 23rd right now, which is fun. Uh, Power League does end in like one day and uh, there was a new update today. So yeah, I've been messing around with a few things and uh, just seeing like the different balance changes, new maps, etc. like what works there. And uh, maybe I'll make like a guide for you guys uh, in between Power League seasons or something like that. But for today, we have some really good games that I uh, wanted to show you guys. And first off, we're starting with BB on Shooting Star. Alright guys, so this is kind of like an old strategy that me and my team used to do in comp. Uh, it wasn't always with BB. I think I used to do it with Frank the most, but uh, I've been having a lot of fun with BB lately. And so you can see like I was last pick, obviously. Um, but none of their brawlers really do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna like just go in there and take like all the pressure and my team, we have a Brock and a Mandy, I'm just gonna be there to like finish kills off, stuff like that, if we get them backed off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna manage to trade there as well, which is really good, and it doesn't matter if I die with stars, really, like, ideally, like, they get the stars, and I'm just kinda like absorbing pressure, so nice kill from KC there as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, none of them can ever kill me on their own. If I get hit by like all three, like then I can kind of die. If the grave pulls me or something too, I could die from that. But uh, yeah, nice TP from their grave there as well. And I'm just going to stand over here. I know he's one shot and he'll just TP over the wall. So yeah, there it is. And he's going to try TPing away here, but I think we catch him. But yeah, <laughs> I do waste my bubble and I'm going to let KC finish that kill up because I don't want any of the stars. I'm running in. I'm kind of being the aggro. And uh, yeah, so I think I get the Sprout here. I probably should have gave it to Osiren, but that's okay. And Sword's gonna get a nice kill there, but uh, <clears throat> I think we can. He's gonna hit the trap. We able to follow up and nice kill there from the Bell as well. So you don't want to get like pushed back. So I'm trying to be like aggro. I still have a gadget, so there's not really any risk of me dying. And our Mandy did go down, but he managed to get his super on. Uh, right before he went down and he's gonna hit a nice super there as well maybe it bounces oh that was really close to bouncing but uh yeah we need like they need two kills to end the game and we got them backed up though so i just need to get my bubble and there we go we're gonna get a kill there and our mandy is gonna get the last kill so yeah it's a pretty cool pick and i recommend you guys trying something like high hp like i like i said frank's really good too uh and you can only do it with last pick because you can get countered super hard so yeah don't troll your power league games all right so here is another cool pick and it's gonna be byron on open zone so open zone just got put back in the map and this is something that i saw like the japanese teams do a lot in comp uh when it was in the map pool so they put like something like byron b Maybe even Gus would work now, or Bell works too. They put it on the left side, and you just kind of like run up and you win your lane. And with Byron, I like it because you can like heal mid too. Um, so yeah, usually you see long range go mid, but I thought this was a really cool strategy. So uh, I play it whenever I can. And now that it's back in the map pool, like, I'm definitely going to be doing more stuff like this. So the left side's really free on this map. And we also had a Meg, so Meg Byron's a really strong combo. And he can just see, like, he can't really kill it. That's, like, the Meg's fault. He should have known he had Big Shot, but uh, he just kind of wasted it. But I am going to take out the Gus there at the same time. But, yeah, pretty bad play from the Meg there. Uh, he did waste his super. And <clears throat> you can just see we're staying alive. So on Byron, you want to keep your damage gear if you can. Because it's not just your damage, it's also your healing gets buffed. So that's kind of why I wasn't regening there. Uh, ideally, you do want to have damage gear on. And I was pretty low, but everything kind of one-shots me when I'm in damage gear here in this game. So, you know, I got to take some risks. And I'm going to go mid. I'm going to take out the Gus as well. Try to keep the Meg alive, but my teammates are dying pretty fast in this one, to be honest. Like, they're just walking out, like, getting marked. Uh, so, yeah, I realize that, like, all right, I got to stop healing these guys and got to start killing the other team because... I don't think I can really rely on my teammates too much in this one. Like, the stew's marked, so it always feels bad when you're, like, healing someone that's marked. Uh, but, you know, I'll still do it just to keep the pressure on. And I do have damage gear on. I did regen, unfortunately. But, 
you know, we're gonna try keeping the mag, but they both die again. <laughs> so, as long as I don't go down and we don't get spawn trapped, it's fine. I'm in some good shots here as well. So, Byron Super is so good for, like, finishing off kills. I, I don't think I really use it on myself or my teammates unless I can get, like, two people with it usually. Otherwise, it's pretty much, like, a guaranteed kills. Especially, like, you can just see we kill the spike so easily after that. Um, and, yeah, I'm gonna have damage gear here, and I don't think I regen till the end of the game. So, <laughs> you can see I'm just, like, making sure, like, max range, like, not bouncing any bell shots, getting hit by any spike RNG, and I'm just healing the mag and I cannot do anything, so... This is why, like, I think Byron's really slept on in some, uh, some games, and, yeah, pretty good Byron game. Alright, this is another map that just got ba added back to the Power League map pool, and also comp, so... Brock Lane was so strong here before, so I figured I'd try it, and I accidentally went jump Brock. <laughs> Luckily, we do still have a wall break. We have a dog as well, so you're gonna see me jump. Don't go jump Brock here. Like, you need to wall break the one on your side and then their grass, um, but you can see Osiren got me. He was in our game on Super uh, Shooting Star as well, so we're gonna jump there just because I got the treat, you know. And uh, I don't want to lose it, obviously. But yeah, when we get our super, we want to break their grass that the sprout is kind of just hiding in. <clears throat> so Siren's doing a really good job getting treats to us. And yeah, Squeak is another brawler that's really good on this map. I don't know why they went sprout. Um, but I know they had last pick. And you can see I hit a nice shot on the Squeak there through the walls. So you can get that. If they're hugging the walls with Brock, you just shoot the wall and the... Radius will hit them through the wall, so that's something else you guys can try out. But uh, yeah, we're just <laughs> kind of <laughs> we beat them pretty bad the game before, too. So this is the second one, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump like, don't need to feed super or anything like that. And uh, both my teammates are playing really good in this one, it, it always makes it a lot easier when everyone's just kind of tapping. But there's they can't really play the game at this point, like, it's kind of their fault, their draft wasn't really the best, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So this one's kind of over, and you guys should definitely try, we're just celebrating here, try Brock on this map. Make sure Max is banned though. Alright, and for the final game, I am, so this was on the EU server, and I'm going to be on Daryl, so Daryl is probably my favorite, like, 6 pick here, and you literally don't do anything until, like, the end of the game. So you just kind of make sure your teammates don't get caught out or something like that and when you get your roll you can catch people out really well and yeah it was six pick Daryl uh, so I'm just kind of covering here like not really the best play from my mag but uh, he is actually like I mean it's really good what he did but I, it's pretty risky so he did get like I think one or maybe two buster gadgets out which is really good so here like I'm gonna sneak around and I'm out of vision from the Bonnie and I know it's not close to super, so I'm just gonna roll on it. Like, it's not expecting me. It tries gadgeting, but it's too late. And I get my roll back, and I'm gonna roll and kill the Gus as well. So, Daryl is just so strong on, like, knockout maps in general. Like, if they don't have something for the end of the round to deal with Daryl. And a lot of people don't draft tank counters in knockout, so it's a really good six pick. You guys should try it. I can't do the same thing to the Bonnie. Uh, you know, they do tend to learn if they get, like, embarrassed, like, one time, so... You always gotta switch up what you're doing, you gotta be unpredictable, and again, I'm just covering, so I noticed they're like all focusing my mag, so I wanna go straight for the Gus, because my mag does a good job and kills it too, but uh, yeah, I think that was a good play, and uh, my mag played really good, my teammates all did really good this game, so yeah, nice quick little Daryl game to finish the video off. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, like I said, I'll try to find some videos to make for you during the Power League break, it's only for a few days, and then I'll be going for number one in Power League. I'll try getting Masters uh, pretty early, we'll see how it goes, so I play on stream, you guys should check me out at Twitch, I'll put the link in the description, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, peace.